What is up my butter biscuits? Y'all are getting two videos in one day today because I feel like the internet is really going crazy today and I'm like, whoa. I took a look on Twitter, I took a look on Reddit and I'm like, oh my gosh, everything just seems to be popping off today with the Try Guys and Michaela. Actually over the past few days, things have been popping off with Michaela. She actually hasn't even posted on TikTok for like five days now, I believe it is. And a lot of people are wondering like, where is she at? But she is still posting on like, I believe like YouTube and Facebook. I took a look over there and she's like posting like older videos, you know what I mean? Um, I refrained from making this video for a while, to be honest with you guys, over the past few days, only because I was like, you know what? I don't really know how I feel about it. I didn't really like form an opinion about it because I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm just one of those people that I feel like everybody is entitled to make their complaints. Like say for example, you know, if you know other things are happening in the world, bigger things are happening in the world, like everyone is still entitled to vent and like to express their feelings. Do you know what I'm saying? And I do wanna say, yeah, like I saw the clip of Michaela. I am going to be playing it within this video. And I do wanna say immediately, I was like, oh my gosh, girl, you are so out of touch with reality and you do sound so ungrateful. That is just my honest opinion. However, I just feel like, okay, she's having a rough day and she's venting to her people. You know what I'm saying? And look, I totally do understand being an influencer is, it's hard work, don't get me wrong. However, like y'all, let me just keep it real with you guys. I would way rather be making videos for the rest of my life than to be working a nine to five job. 100%, you guys know that I stress that to you guys all the time. That's why I'm like, please give these videos thumbs up because it really does help me out. So that way I can actually make this my career and not have to go get a regular job because I would rather do this. I know it can be difficult. And let me tell you guys something. If you guys go back on my channel, there was a long period of time as to where I was uploading four makeup videos per week. I'm talking about reviews, tutorials, just demos, all different types of things. And it was a lot of work. I was getting very stressed out. But was I complaining about it? Absolutely not. Because I was like, this is what I want to do. I love making content. I love making videos. I love playing with makeup. I love trying new makeup. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that too, I was like, you know what? Would I rather be doing this or would I rather be working at Mac? And I'd rather be doing this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of like, you know what? I get where she's coming from but her whole thing of like where she specifically says try being an influencer for one day and just kind of like the tone that she says it in it's kind of like okay girl you are being so out of touch with reality right now because i'm sorry i don't care how hard it ever gets especially dealing with you know a whole lot of drama and dealing with a whole lot of backlash and dealing with a whole lot of people always having negative things to say it does get really rough but i don't care what this is still way better than like working a regular nine to five job so um it was really difficult for me at first to like form an opinion because i was like you know what i understand where she's coming from does she sound ungrateful yes she does but i still understand where she's coming from do you know what i mean however the reason why i'm making this video now is because i have seen the comments that she has made to jacqueline hill i want to say in 2018 and look, I want to say, obviously, people do grow, people do change. And obviously, she has had like a whole different uh, mindset now, being that she is like a full time influencer. But these comments that she left on Jacqueline Hill's page, I'm sorry, but I was like, oh, girl, like, I understand they're from four years ago, but four years is still kind of recent. Do you know what I mean? Of course, I'm sure she has changed by then. I I'm sure, you know, especially given her role now on social media, I totally get it. But I'm just kind of like, okay, girl, like, you sound like such a hypocrite. And I'm going to show you guys a TikTokers TikTok within this video where she actually has a screen recording of it and Michaela actually went to go delete those comments that she left on Jaclyn Hill's page and I'm just kind of like girl you're literally over here saying to I'm gonna show you guys but you're over here saying to Jaclyn Hill oh my gosh it must be so hard uh, all you do is make YouTube videos and you're rich or something along the lines of that and then she's over here complaining about it too <laughs> so I'm just kind of like okay that's like super hypocritical but obviously now that she's actually walking in the shoes of Jaclyn Hill let's just say being that she does you know um, obviously have a full-time career on social media now she sees that it is actually difficult but she definitely does look a little bit like a hypocrite with those um, you know comments right there underneath the Jacqueline's post actually she left like multiple comments underneath Jacqueline's post which I want to say like I found it to be a little bit rude to be honest with you guys I'm like okay girl like why are you going in on Jacqueline like that like I don't really get it and then now that this TikToker made this video and y'all she had like 3 million views on her video or probably even more than 3 million views uh Michaela has since deleted all of those comments I literally went back to look at them all and she deleted them all um so I'm going to be playing that within this video. I'm going to be playing the clip of Michaela so that way you guys can form your opinions about it as well too because I, like I said, look, I still do feel like, yeah, she does sound ungrateful but I understand where she's coming from and I feel like everybody should have the right to be able to vent about, you know, their problems and yes, there is bigger things going on in the world. However, what may be a small deal to you may be a huge deal to me and vice versa. You know what I'm saying and I feel like we shouldn't discredit each other's feelings but I do feel like she does obviously need a little bit of a reality check as like, girl, you kind of 
lost yourself up in the crowd, you know? And this piece together clip that I'm going to be playing within this video, you guys are going to see she's complaining about this, but then she has like Louis Vuitton this and Gucci this and Chanel that. And I'm like, y'all, I could, oh, y'all, let me just tell you guys, if I could afford all that stuff, you would never hear a complaint out of me. You will never hear a complaint out of me. Like if I could make YouTube videos, which I love doing so much, and I could afford all that, I would just keep my mouth shut no matter how hard it gets y'all can even go back onto my social media y'all don't even complain like that period you know what i mean only because i'm just kind of like this is what i love to do and hey you know what i may get a lot of hate oh my gosh especially back in the day y'all let me tell you like five six years ago y'all people used to like come for me and tell me to you know kys like every single day it was a little rough but i was like hey this comes with it so whatever you know what i mean anyways before i start rambling about nonsense um make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up let's go ahead and get into it because y'all this one is a little bit a little bit interesting Interesting. So the first clip I want to go ahead and show you guys is actually the clip of Michaela where somebody compiled like pieces together of her TikToks and like showed all of the like luxurious brands that she has and then her complaining about being a you know influencer and that she's like try it for one day. The thing that I want to say right here, and this is just my opinion, I know you guys may have a different opinion of it, I think where it kind of went left for her is the tone of which she's saying it in, and how she's like so aggressively saying, try it, it's just kind of like, girl, there are millions of people in the world trying to get to your position, you have millions of followers, I can guarantee you guys that she's probably making at least a hundred to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for her sponsorship, she is making bank, she recently just bought like a two million dollar house, like, Y'all, it's kind of like check your privilege. You know what I'm saying? Like the way that she says it, it's not what she said, but how she said it is kind of my opinion of it. And that's why I looked at that. And I was like, it was a little bit cringy. You know what I mean? Obviously, you guys can check it out and like form your own opinion. But I was just kind of like, you know what? It's not what you're saying. It's how you're saying it. And the way she's saying it, it's like, okay, girl, like it's really not that hard. Like, can you imagine working like front line of COVID y'all? Can you imagine being a nurse during COVID? Like that is way more hard than making videos. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, go ahead and check out this clip. We just finished working. It's 519. Try being an influencer for a day. Try it. And here, all oh, <laughs> me, I had a real flash. Here it is. And here's the bag. So as y'all can see from right there, I don't know if it's just me, but I kind of like take it as like, it's the way she said it, you know? And I'm like, girl, you're saying it so aggressively. Like if it's that hard, then quit. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm sorry. But like, when you have that many luxurious things, like uh, y'all, I look at those luxury things every day and be like, it's worth it. It's worth it. No matter how hard it gets, you know, I do want to say this though. And I'm not trying to discredit. And obviously I already said that within my intro. I'm like, you know what? It is really hard work. Honestly, you guys, if you guys don't make content, y'all know, like, especially when it comes to like doing so much makeup content, it really is hard to like, keep it, like, keep it going. Do you know what I mean? Like there's only so many eyeshadow looks you can do before people start getting over it. Do you know what I mean? And you have to try to think outside the box so it is really hard like obviously thinking of different content and like how to engage with people differently and how to get more views you know what i'm saying and like getting different sponsorships it is really stressful however the i really do feel like and this is just my opinion i feel like the benefit is way more worth than the drama do you know what i mean anyways y'all so moving forward right here so this tiktoker came forward and made this video y'all and i was like oh my gosh she kind of like put michaela on blast and i think this is why michaela hasn't been on tiktok i don't really know i'm kind of curious to see if she is going to make a video about this or an apology video to jacqueline hill i will be doing an updated video if she does but go ahead and check out these tiktoks right here It's like 8 a.m. and I just saw this and I needed to know if it was true. So I went to Jacqueline Hill's Instagram and I saw this. I clicked on her profile and it is actually her. Michaela. Must be nice to be rich and all you do is film videos for YouTube. And Michaela was a hater, y'all. So as y'all can see from right there, she has actual screen recordings of Michaela's comments. And y'all know what I say. Like, I feel like a comment could be fabricated. I feel like a DM could be fabricated. I feel like that can be fabricated very easy if it is a screenshot. However, when you see the actual screen recording of it, that's where I'm kind of like, okay, I believe that those comments were there. This is where I say, okay, this right here to me, obviously... Y'all, I'm so sorry. I'm just going to say it. I'm not saying this specifically towards Michaela. Like, obviously, I know her head was probably in a different space then. She didn't know the work that it took to, like, be as big as Jaclyn Hill. And now she obviously does. 
But I just want to say, I just, I can't stand a hypocrite. Like, I cannot stand a hypocrite. More than a liar, I can't stand a hypocrite. Like, it's just so frustrating for you to say these things, and then now you're complaining about those same things that you left her hate comments about. Like, that to me, I'm just kind of like, okay, girl, you look really, really fake, you know? And that's just obviously my opinion on it. I want to say that this whole entire thing blew up so much that you guys can literally Google it, and there is so many sites, y'all. Yahoo News. Like, just go on Google and type this in, and you guys will see insider made a whole like piece about it and i'm just like oh my gosh they're making a really really big deal about this i want to say like i kind of feel bad for michaela y'all know me I always feel like, look, people make mistakes. People say dumb things. Obviously, I know that she was saying this in a place of like, she didn't really understand. Maybe she was like making TikToks and maybe she was, or was TikTok even around four years ago? I don't know. Maybe she was making like Instagram reels or Facebook videos or YouTube videos. I don't really know. But maybe she didn't realize how much work it took to get to Jaclyn Hill's position and now she does. So I kind of do want to say, you know what? She obviously looks a little bit ignorant, obviously, but... Hopefully she learns from this and hopefully she like knows better now. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just somebody, I'm not like the type of person to be like, oh my God, she should be canceled because she's a hypocrite or whatnot. I just really feel like now she learned her lesson by actually getting to see what it takes, you know, and how much hard work you have to put in to be an influencer. So now she fully understands. And in my personal opinion, I just want to leave this video on this note. I really do feel like she owes Jaclyn Hill an apology. That's just my opinion. Cause I feel like, why are you leaving her all these hate comments? And then you're going to go and complain about the same type of thing. Cause obviously you look like a hypocrite. You know what I mean? Anyway, so that is it for this video. Make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.